I actually didn't dive into this. I wanted to dive into this live with you guys because check this out. Joe Biden, this is just a fun political story. Joe Biden uh, has been accused of plagiarism in the past. And guess what? Joe Biden faces new plagiarism claim over DNC acceptance speech. Uh, so Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden reprised his pension for borrowing lines from other people's works last week. Now, by the way, he tweeted this and it got ratioed pretty hardcore, by the way. But here's what he said. For love is more powerful than hate. Hope is more powerful than fear. Light is more powerful than dark. Um, very, very deep there. But Canadian media quickly noted that the former Veep's words were uncannily similar to those of Jack Layton, the leader of Canada's left-wing New Democratic Party, who issued uh, something similar. Love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. Oh, crap. So now, to be, like, just totally objective here, those are kind of just cliches. Yeah, it's just like, you know, when we write a song, we like to go into a little bit of a deeper detail. We like details and that's what makes a song really um, special to us is not just like it was a beautiful day and we could do it. You know, I miss you, babe. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. come on. That's so cliche. And we can, we could go deeper. Let's go deeper details, please. How are we going to actually do this? Like what happens on day one and what are you going to do about all the, you know, the tears that are falling from everyone's face right now. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. But here we go again. I mean, new plagiarism claim <laughs> against Joe Biden, because this is all, it's really remarkable just how, I mean, I, I've said this before, like 2020 could not be pitched as a series or a movie because it would just be too unbelievable. Nobody would buy it. And like, like, and, and it includes like characters like Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Nobody would buy it. They, they'd be like, wait a second. So you're saying this dude, they're going to put up this guy who may have dementia, who can barely string together sentences. is going to get accused of plagiarism again. He has enough skeletons in his closet. He never has to decorate for Halloween. They're going to put this guy up instead of the guy who had an entire mass movement of people behind him. And the other dude is uh, putting the country under martial law gassing his own people for a photo op holding a bible in washington dc and there's a pandemic going on well all this you gotta be kidding me and it's like nope that's 2020 it's real it's real he hasn't started world war three yet though knock on wood i mean <laughs> i mean it's not november yet is that when world war three is supposed to happen i have no idea oh I have no idea. I mean, I, I have no idea when World War III could happen, but they it's like... Asteroid, they have that six-foot asteroid that has a 1% chance of hitting us. I That's tweeted that fun. out. Yeah, I got a kick out of that. So if it does hit us, it's going to be like like pretty small. I mean, because it's like a tiny thing. Yeah. But but it's still, it's still pretty like eerily funny that it's going to happen the day before the election day if it yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, uh, like I, I wonder how long is it going to be before neoliberals complain that the asteroids taking votes away from Joe Biden? <laughs> a, vote, a vote for the asteroids, a vote for Trump. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 